Literary criticism's most important function is to try books so to influence from which they are calculated to have upon the general culture of single nations or of the world at large. This was Matthew Arnold in The Bishop and the Philosopher. This epitaph suggests that books in general, according to Matthew Arnold, must be regarded as having value of a particular culture. The bishop must therefore see the pattern that it suggests about a period. In Arnold's case, he alluded many times back to the romantic as having been and how they became influential on their own culture. The Victorian age blended towards a moral society. It was a gateway into the modernist movement and critical theory became a forefront of literature. Individualism towards the reader than the poet was emphasized. The idea of finding some coherence in life with meaning, rather finding oneself in nature, was born. Arnold influenced 20th century writers because he believed poetry was a criticism of life. The modernists agreed that the romantics' concern about the poet rather than the poetry was essentially defunct. Arnold attacked the romantics because the representation of humanism and culture was more important than individualism. Both Arnold and T.S. Eliot supported the argument of the romantics leaning away from real life and writing more towards inspiration.